Before we plunge into querying SQL Server, I want to give you a little course overview so you'll have an idea the topics you're going to learn here and the things we're going to cover together. And here they are. We're going to first start off and I'm going to talk about some database basics. Now this is mostly for those of you who may be kind of new to the topic of databases. We'll talk about some Transact SQL basics and some basic Microsoft certification information. Then we'll do a section on getting SQL Server 2012, getting it all set up for the course so that you can follow along and do the examples. Then we'll take a good look at the SQL Server Management Studio. This is where you're going to live as a T-SQL developer. This is where the code is written. So we're going to talk about how to customize it, how to work with the diagrams out there. We'll talk about the sample code files and all sorts of things. Then we'll take a look at database objects. Now this is just going to be a good introduction into various objects, tables, data integrity, concepts constraints, null, view, store procedures, triggers, those sorts of things, just so you know how the pieces and parts work together that's going to be important to writing the code. Then we'll jump into working with tables, and we'll talk about how to create a table both with T-SQL commands and doing it graphically with the SQL Server Management Studio. We'll talk about primary keys, deleting tables, just all sorts of things, altering tables. Then we'll jump into query basics. We'll talk about the four basic queries, a good query structure, comments, those sorts of things. Then we'll jump into the select statement. We'll go over some of the basics on the good old basic select statement. Then we'll move into more advanced things. We'll talk about column aliasing, using some average count, grouping results, using having, intersect and accept, like and in, offset fetch, those sorts of things. Then we'll take a look at join queries. Look at some examples of those, talk about how to join tables, and which is what we normally do in the real world. Then we'll talk about modifying data. And of course, we're talking about things like uh, insert, update, and delete, and look at some examples on that and the various gotchas that can happen there. From there, we'll jump into subqueries. Now, subqueries fall into the category of people either love them, and this is their solution to everything, or they don't like them, don't understand them, and they never use them. We'll go through those. We'll look at like a scalar subquery, multi-valued, correlated subquery. Then after that, we will talk about programmability. We will deal with stored procedures, uh, passing input parameters, output parameters. Uh, we'll talk about case logic, handling errors, stored procedure security. Then we'll get into functions, and then we'll get into dynamic SQL. We'll cover a lot there. Then we'll move on to triggers. Take a look at what triggers can do for us. A couple of simple examples of using triggers, creating them, watching them fire. Then we'll talk a little bit about transactions, what a transaction is, the difference between an explicit and an implicit transaction, how we can code these, and we'll look at some code examples on how to use them. And then there's everybody's favorite, right, metadata. We'll talk about how to query metadata from SQL Server out there in the system tables. Then we'll do a little primer on XML. XML is all the rage. You will see some aspects of XML on the exam, and I'll cover you on that and get you ready. Then we'll do a little bit on optimization, the various tools you're going to use for optimizing your queries. And then I'll close the course out with giving you some instructions on how to prepare for this exam, how to take the exam, and what to do with this exam as you're taking it. Very important information. So that's where we're headed. So get comfortable, and let's get started.